Second time in history, a man-made object has left our solar system. NASA is saying the Voyager 2 probe. Voyager 2's groundbreaking discoveries at the edge of the solar system represent a pivotal moment in the field of astrophysics, one that has forced scientists to completely rethink their understanding of cosmic boundaries and the interactions between solar and interstellar phenomena. Launched in 1977, this spacecraft has spent decades drifting farther and farther from Earth, dutifully transmitting invaluable data from regions of space no other human-made object has explored. Now, having exited the heliosphere and entered interstellar space, Voyager 2 2 has delivered findings that have confounded researchers worldwide. The spacecraft's most significant discovery came when it crossed the heliopause, the point where the solar wind is effectively halted by the pressure of the interstellar medium. This boundary was assumed to be a chaotic, turbulent mixing region where solar particles collide unpredictably with interstellar material. All prevailing models predicted disorder, high turbulence, and chaotic interactions at this frontier. However, the reality, as revealed by Voyager 2, turned out to be radically different from those long-standing assumptions. Voyager 2's instruments detected an astonishingly calm and structured environment where scientists expected nothing but chaos. Instead of turbulence and disorder, the data showed a region with uniform magnetic fields and predictable particle flows. Measurements indicated that the area was not only orderly but also electrically charged in ways that had never been documented before. This shocking observation suggested the presence of some form of unknown organizing mechanism that preserved structure and stability at the edge of the solar system, a revelation that challenges basic concepts of cosmic physics. Perhaps even more surprising was the discovery of a previously undetected plasma wall located just beyond the heliopause. Voyager 2's plasma wave instrument recorded a sharp and dense layer of tightly packed ions that marked a sudden increase in particle density. This discovery was unprecedented. The plasma wall's existence had not been predicted by any prior theoretical model, and its stability in such an environment was entirely unexpected. The wall appeared to function like a shield, altering and filtering the inflow of galactic cosmic rays into the heliosphere in an organized fashion. The realization that such a distinct boundary layer exists reshapes the understanding of how interstellar and solar forces interact. The implications of this plasma wall extend far beyond just an interesting scientific anomaly. It fundamentally changes the perception of the heliosphere as a boundary between the solar system and the interstellar medium. Rather than being a simple transitional zone, the heliopause appears to be a complex, multi-layered boundary governed by physical processes that are not yet fully understood. This finding is prompting plasma physicists to develop new theories and models to explain how such a sharply defined plasma structure could form and remain co coherent in an area previously thought to be governed by chaos. One of the most provocative aspects of Voyager 2's findings relates to the magnetic field measurements. Years earlier, Voyager 1 had crossed the heliopause and detected changes in the magnetic field's direction. However, what Voyager 2 found on its different trajectory was even more surprising. The spacecraft recorded an unusual alignment between the magnetic fields inside the heliosphere and those in interstellar space. This near-mirrored alignment defied all expectations, as existing models had long predicted that these fields would differ significantly significantly in both direction and strength. This unexpected symmetry suggests that there may be previously unknown physical mechanisms at work, enforcing order across this boundary. Some researchers have even speculated that this alignment could be a sign of a larger cosmic architecture, a structural feature of the galaxy itself that organizes magnetic fields on scales far larger than those previously considered. If such a structure exists, it would not only influence the behavior of magnetic fields at the edge of our solar system, but also shape magnetic flows throughout the galaxy, revealing a hidden order in the cosmic landscape. In addition to these magnetic field anomalies, Voyager 2 also detected highly directional cosmic ray fluxes upon crossing into interstellar space. Under normal conditions, galactic cosmic rays approach from all directions, creating a generally uniform bombardment. However, the spacecraft recorded a pronounced asymmetry in the cosmic ray influx. These high-energy particles were not arriving from random directions, but appeared to be funneled or guided along specific paths. This unexpected observation suggests that there may be galactic scale lensing or shielding mechanisms that focus cosmic ray particles along certain trajectories. The implications of this plasma wall extend far beyond just an interesting scientific anomaly. It fundamentally changes the perception of the heliosphere as a boundary between the solar system and the interstellar medium. Rather than being a simple transitional zone, the heliopause appears to be a complex, multi-layered boundary governed by physical processes that are not yet fully understood. This finding is prompting plasma physicists to develop new theories and models to explain how such a sharply defined plasma structure could form and remain coherent in an area previously thought to be governed by chaos. One of the most provocative aspects of Voyager 2's findings relates to the magnetic field measurements. Years earlier, Voyager 1 had crossed the heliopause and detected changes in the magnetic field's direction. However, what Voyager 2 found on its different trajectory was even more surprising. The spacecraft recorded an unusual alignment between the magnetic fields inside the heliosphere and those 
closed in interstellar space. This near-mirrored alignment defied all expectations, as existing models had long predicted that these fields would differ significantly in both direction and strength. This unexpected symmetry suggests that there may be previously unknown physical mechanisms at work, enforcing order across this boundary. Some researchers have even speculated that this alignment could be a sign of a larger cosmic architecture, a structural feature of the galaxy itself that organizes magnetic fields on scales far larger than those previously considered. If such a structure exists, it would not only influence the behavior of magnetic fields at the edge of our solar system, but also shape magnetic flows throughout the galaxy, revealing a hidden order in the cosmic landscape. In addition to these magnetic field anomalies, Voyager 2 also detected highly directional cosmic ray fluxes upon crossing into interstellar space. Under normal conditions, galactic cosmic rays approach from all directions, creating a generally uniform bombardment. However, the spacecraft recorded a pronounced asymmetry in the cosmic ray influx. These high-energy particles were not arriving from random directions, but appeared to be funneled or guided along specific paths. This unexpected observation suggests that there may be galactic-scale lensing or shielding mechanisms that focus cosmic ray particles along certain trajectories. The potential implications of this finding are profound. If cosmic rays are being selectively filtered or directed at the boundary of the solar system, it means that Earth and other inner planets may only be exposed to a portion of the galactic radiation that exists in the wider galaxy. This selective exposure could have influenced the evolution of life on Earth over geological timescales by moderating radiation levels. It also raises new questions about the long-term stability of this shielding effect and how variations in it might affect the climate and biosphere. The findings from Voyager 2 also offer compelling new insights into the very shape of the heliosphere itself. For decades, it was widely accepted that the heliosphere took on a teardrop or comet-like shape, trailing behind the solar system as it moved through the galaxy. This shape was thought to be dictated by the interaction between the solar wind and the surrounding interstellar medium. However, new data from Voyager 2, combined with advanced simulations inspired by these findings, suggests a radically different possibility. The heliosphere may, in fact, resemble a more spherical or bubble-like form, enclosed by a high-pressure shell, where solar and interstellar forces interact in unexpected harmony. This bubble-like structure challenges conventional wisdom about the solar system's architecture, and suggests that the solar influence extends in a much more contained and symmetrical fashion than previously believed. Such a configuration would fundamentally alter our understanding of how the solar wind propagates and interacts with the galaxy, opening new avenues for research into the behavior of stellar winds and other star systems as well. What makes Voyager 2's discoveries even more remarkable is their philosophical impact. The spacecraft was launched during an era when digital technology was still in its infancy, yet it has traveled farther than any other object built by humans, transmitting critical data from beyond the sun's influence. Its findings shatter the simplistic notion that interstellar space is merely a cold, empty void. Instead, Voyager 2 has revealed a frontier that is vibrant, dynamic, and structured, far more complex than anyone had anticipated. These discoveries have sparked intense debate and re-examination within the scientific community. Plasma physicists are now tasked with developing models that can explain the formation and stability of the newly discovered plasma wall. Meanwhile, those studying magnetic reconnection and field dynamics are re-evaluating their models to account for the unexpected magnetic alignments and low turbulence at the boundary. Cosmic ray researchers are also reassessing their theories in light of the new evidence showing focused cosmic ray paths. The need to revise long-held models is not limited to individual fields. The entire framework work of solar physics may require adjustment, not necessarily regarding the sun's core processes, but in terms of how it interacts with the broader galaxy. The boundary between solar and interstellar space has emerged as a critical region that shapes not just the immediate space environment, but potentially the evolutionary conditions for life itself within the solar system. What makes this boundary even more fascinating is its apparent dynamism. Voyager 2 recorded subtle but persistent fluctuations in particle density and magnetic field strength, indicating that the boundary is not static. Instead, it appears to shift and evolve over time, likely in response to both the solar cycle and broader galactic conditions. This finding suggests that the heliopause may periodically contract and expand, changing its position as solar and interstellar pressures wax and wane. The possibility that such structures exist around other stars is also gaining traction within the scientific community. If our own sun can create such an intricate and well-defined boundary, it stands to reason that other stars may do so as well. This prospect opens up an entirely new field of study, comparative heliophysics, where scientists may investigate the bubble-like boundaries around distant star systems. Such studies could eventually lead to breakthroughs in understanding how different cosmic environments influence the formation and evolution of planetary systems and the potential for life elsewhere in the galaxy. The implications of these discoveries extend into the realm of interstellar travel as well. Future missions aiming to cross into interstellar space, whether robotic or eventually crewed, will need to account for the structured and active nature of the heliopause. The presence of a dense plasma wall, magnetic alignments, and cosmic ray modulation makes the boundary 
far more than a simple navigational checkpoint. Spacecraft may need to be designed with specialized shielding or communication protocols to safely traverse this zone, and mission planners will need to consider the dynamic nature of this frontier in their designs. Furthermore, the unexpected findings from Voyager 2 are lending credibility to some previously fringe theories about dark plasma and exotic particle interactions. For years, some scientists have speculated that unknown forms of matter or energy might interact weakly with conventional particles, producing subtle but detectable effects. The anomalies observed by Voyager 2, particularly the plasma wall, the magnetic symmetry, and the directional cosmic ray flux may offer the first empirical hints of such phenomena. While this remains speculative, the fact that Voyager 2 has encountered multiple phenomena that lie beyond the scope of current models provides new momentum for the exploration of unconventional theories. Ultimately, Voyager 2's discoveries compel a fundamental re-evaluation of how we understand the solar system's place in the cosmos. They show that the edge of the solar system is not a simple boundary, but a region rich with complex, organized, and active phenomena. This revelation underscores the importance of continued exploration and highlights the incredible potential for discovery even in regions of space that were once thought to be well understood. The transformative findings from Voyager 2 have sparked new investigative directions, forcing experts to explore unfamiliar territories in astrophysics. These revelations about the boundary of the solar system dismantle the notion of a gradual, seamless transition into interstellar space. The unexpected calmness of this outermost zone defies assumptions of chaotic particle interactions, implying that outer space behaves with an order no one foresaw. This discovery illustrates that the edge of the solar domain operates under unknown influences that stabilize and organize its environment. 